What's going on my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today. And what I want to get into is Bitcoin as well as some altcoins. I want to look at them on the weekly time frame here so we get a nice longer term perspective on Bitcoin and where we may be heading from here. So if you guys get some from these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're going to try to make it as quick as possible for you, get you as most information as we can. So when we're taking a look at Bitcoin here, guys, main thing that we want to look at is a breakout over our previous all-time high and that's going to be $74,000 and the reason for this is a lot of people are here and they're saying when can alt season start this or that I don't believe we're going to have any type of alt season before Bitcoin starts breaking out from its previous all-time high once we start running over top of the all-time high then typically some money will start getting into Ethereum and then into some layer one coins and just it'll work its way down essentially. So when we're taking a look at this right now, everything is looking good. We have to be patient. I know we have a little bit of a sell off today, but as we're looking at this on the weekly time frame, we're still up above our 20 week simple moving average, which is going to be in purple. We're up above our 50 in red and we're up above our 200. So right now the trend in the direction still is up, even though we've been in this sideways chop here for over seven months. It has been tough. It has been nasty, guys. We're just waiting for the breakout here. And if we get into our smart money concepts, what you can see is this is the area that we have to get up through here, guys. And this is going to span from $67,600 up to about $72,000. We're going to have the previous week's high that we're going to need to get up through as well. And then you can see up here what this is marked as is a weak high. Because also this smart concepts that I'm looking at here where it marks highs and lows and equilibriums and everything like that. What it's saying for us here is that it even believes that we potentially still could have more room to the upside. It has not been marked as a strong high. So that's a good thing going in our favor here when we're taking a look at the smart money concepts. Stepping back, we have got our MACD cross, our weekly MACD cross. So that's a big deal, guys. We have not had a positive one since, let's see here, this is going back all the way to the end of October 2023. We have not had a positive one like we're looking at right now right here. So that's what we want to see. And we want to see it come on heavier volume. So we have that crossing, which is good. We have our chain and money flow. We are to the positive. We're at a 0 0.17. So that's healthy. And then also our lazy bear squeeze momentum here. We did have a green trigger here. We have not even seen a green bar. And this dates all the way back to the 1st of April, 2024. And last time guys, when it started here, we had a really nice run for Bitcoin. So, so far, everything's kind of aligning here. I like the way that it's looking. I think we're going to have to be patient here to see if we can get up to some higher levels and potentially break out through that all-time high of around $74,000. If we take a look at the technicals, on the one month, we have a buy. On the one week, we have a buy. And then on the one day, we have a buy. And that's what you want to see for alignment, guys. You always want to see your monthly, your weekly, and your daily all lining up. And then I would take trades or trigger, essentially, if I'm looking for a position on the one-hour time frame. And that's just how I do top-down analysis. So that's going to be Bitcoin, guys. Everything's looking pretty good there. We just have to continue to be patient. Next one we're going to take a look at is ETH. And let me know what you're here for, guys, as well. So looking at ETH, guys, we've had a little bit more of a struggle here. You can see we're barely up above our 200 Weak simple moving average, that's going to be in white. We're trying to get up above our 20 and our 50 as opposed to Bitcoin where we're already trading up above them. So definitely lagging in Ethereum, guys, and that's typical. Bitcoin will start the run, then some money will go into Ethereum. And I still think Ethereum is going to do well here in the next six months or so. If we're taking a look, guys, we have not gotten the MACD cross. We're getting close, but we have not got it yet. So we have to see if we can still get up through there. So, so far, the momentum still to the bearish side. In terms of our squeeze indicator, we have started to turn purple here. So showing that maybe the selling is starting to come to a little bit of a close here. And then our chain and money flow is still in the positive at a 0 0.08. So main thing for Ethereum, guys, we need to hold. And this is going to be a higher low, I would say about $2,300. And then overhead resistance, we have to break through this $2,800. That's a big one for us there. If we do break through that, then we're probably going to run up to $3,500 relatively quickly there. So that's going to be Ethereum. Next one I want to get into is Cardano. So Cardano, guys, we are pinned below the 20, the 50, and the 200. So a lot of overhead pressure for us right now. Indicators, we have turned positive on our chain and money flow, so that's good. Getting up to the positive here, guys. We have not been in positive territory since April of 2024, so I do like to see us getting back up above that. We're starting to turn green on our squeeze indicator, so we like that. 
and then our MACD as well. We have gotten the MACD cross. So it looks like price is lagging a little bit here. We're going to see if Cardano can pick it up and go up and challenge some of those higher levels like 45 cents. And then it'd be up to around that 50 cents, which could be a big area for us as well. And that 50 cents is right where we have a red sell order block there. So we'd have to bust up through that. And this software has marked 21 cents as a strong low for us here. So still a lot of work to do for Cardano guys. Some of the indicators are starting to turn, but we have to see. So if we're looking on the monthly, we have a sell. On the weekly, we have a sell. And on the daily now, we have a neutral. So still trying to work its way back up into some of those positive categories. <clears throat> Next one, we're going to take a look at Avalanche. So for Avalanche, and also guys, I just want to make this as quick as I can. So on the weekly here, just going to roll through it. We need to hold $17.67 as support, overhead resistance. The big area is going to be about $33. If we can break through that, we'd be up to about $42. And then be our previous area, around $65. Indicators, we have had a MACD cross. So that's nice here. We have not had one since October of 2023. Before that, our squeeze is starting to turn green. And our chain and money flow, CMF, is at 0 0.06. So also moving to the positive side, which we like to see as well. Next one, guys, let me get down through here. We're going to do link. Link up a little bit today. Looking decent. So we have a strong low marked at $5. Our main support areas that I'm looking at here is going to be at around $10. We want to hold $10, guys, to see if we can keep these higher lows coming in. And we need to set a higher high, and that would be up above $13, so what we're going to have to get to. But same concept with a lot of these altcoins, just pin below the 20, pin below the 50, pin below the 200 just been brutal for altcoin holders guys in general and i include <laughs> include myself in that as well you know you think you're buying the dip and is down 30 percent and still drops another 20 on you so you know it's always important just to ladder and take your time is what i do believe here so we're going to see if link can go up and test some of these higher areas that it's showing right here around 17 dollars here in the days and weeks to come next one's going to be litecoin Litecoin guys trading below our 50 and our 200. It's looking like we could have some sell pressure roughly between $80 and $91 for us. Thing with Litecoin, stepping back here, guys, and I know we've gotten some ETF news, but this chain and money flow has been positive for quite a while now. And I'm wondering if Litecoin's just kind of been holding back and it is going to have an explosive move coming up in the next months or so. We have been trading up above, unlike many altcoins, since January 2024, and we have not went back below it. Right now, we are at a 0 0.18, so really nice, healthy money flow. Our squeeze indicator, we have not turned green yet, but we've had really nice move to the upside here. And then our MACD, we have had a cross, but we're below the zero line. So, so far for Litecoin, guys, I feel like it is lagging, but I still feel like there's going to be some decent performance for Litecoin down the road. If we take a look at the technicals on Litecoin, on the one month, we have a sell. On the one week, we have a sell getting closer there. And then on the one day, we have a buy. So we need to change some of those longer term trends, that monthly and the weekly. But so far, the indicator is not looking too bad for Litecoin. Next one, we're going to take a look at Render. So for render, guys, we had a low of about $3.34. Main support area that we need to hold is going to be the prior week's low, and that's what we're testing right now, around $5.16. So need to hold that, get back up above this 20 right now. That's just been pressing down upon us here. This has been pretty strong to the downside. Our technicals are chanking money flow. We are to the negative, so a negative 0 0.08 right now. And MACD... Guys, well below the zero line. So not giving a ton of information here for render, but so far not looking the best as of right now. Let's see. Guys, let's do Pepe. And you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I'm going to skip Pepe real quick. There's one I want. Solana. That's what I was looking for here for us. So for Sol... We are trading up above our 20, so that's looking good. No problem there. Trying to test the previous week's high, and that's going to be at about $168. If we can get through that, there could be a run up to around $200, guys. That big psychological level of $200. In terms of higher low support, we need to hold about $134. Chain and money flow, we're at 0.12, so that's looking good. Starting to get our green here on our squeeze indicator. In our MACD, we have gotten that cross 
to the upside. Still need more volume to try to make it happen. But when these crosses happen, guys, a lot of things, I mean, the price can really move fast. So that's something I'm glad we're getting. I don't put a, a ton of emphasis on indicators. It's mostly price action, but I do like to see what's taking place with the indicators here. So overall, Solana not looking too bad. Let's see. Guys, let's get into also, let's do XRP for people. So stepping back, taking a look, we have still not gotten over that 200 week simple moving average, guys. And that's a big barrier. I mean, you can see we broke up above it, back below it, above it, just over and over. My gut opinion is with how tight this has been, guys, and I'm not an XRP holder, but once this breaks, you really could have an explosive move to the upside if it goes to the upside, obviously. Right now, we need to get over top of about 61 cents. If we can get over top of that, then we're testing all this mess here of resistance around like 73 cents and back up to around 93 cents. You know, guys, in stepping back, just looking at this here, our chain and money flows at a negative 0.07, and then our squeeze, we have been to the positive there, but turning white, so losing a little bit of momentum, and MACD, it looks like we're crossing to the downside. But this is just going to show you, I got in in 2017, and this is not to hate on XRP at all, because there's tons of coins that have done this, coins that I've held before. But when we're looking at this, guys, I remember XRP, let me see if I can find you a better chart here. Just one moment. So looking at XRP, I want one that could give us the best info. Let's just try Coinbase just to see. No, guys, that's not a good one. Let me try one more. Okay, so maybe this will give us a little more info. Okay, yeah, this is what I was looking for. So guys, as we're sitting here and we're taking a look at this, and this is the importance of taking profits. Okay, back in 2017, look what happened. We went up to over $3. We went straight up. When anything goes straight up and it doesn't build any support, it's going to come back down. So remember that if you're in any coins this time and it shoots up 500%, whatever, straight up, it's going to come back down because it's not building support. And don't be afraid to take those profits at higher levels if it's something that could really help out your family and your life. But since then, we have not made new all-time highs. So think about people who have been XRP, how long they've been waiting for those all-time high prices again. And they definitely could come down the road here, guys. But, you know, in 2021, look how much weaker of a cycle it was. And this is many altcoins. So that shows the importance of being in liquidity, being in, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum. And I've even underestimated, guys, just being strictly in Bitcoin and the security that that brings in terms of, you know, it's actually making new all-time highs and it's moving forward as opposed to tons of time and all these other coins that we've just chopped sideways. And there's been a lot of wasted opportunity where you could be putting your money elsewhere, you know, as opposed to just sitting around waiting. And I've done this myself, guys. That's why I'm telling you about it. But, you know, just be strong out there, guys. Be patient and know that, you know, the cycle is going to come and just be prepared to take those profits, I guess is what I would tell you. God bless each and every one of you. Take care.